Okay. See, magic makes this quite easy. Because a room of enemies running at you, you just pew pew them one after the other. Hello there. Travelling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh yes, you be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier. And it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. Yeah, doesn't sound very trustworthy, does he? Anyway, here we go. A couple items here. Great soul arrow. Large soul of lost and dead. All that lovely stuff. Okay, here we go. Want to open this? It's poison. Okay, lovely. Yeah, knocking on the door causes an enemy to open it. Doesn't open from this side. Hmm. Come on. Oh yeah, you're gonna hit me with a shield bash. You know, I'll do this. Really? Am I not able to follow that up? That's a slow parry. Comes in handy. Oh, I hate halberd wheeling enemies. Life ring come in handy because it's a percentage increase. When we start upping our vigor, that'll get more and more worth it. Also, there's a thing here. You're not aiming that right at all. You should aim it where I am. Not where I'm going to be. Don't read the future. Oh my god, really? You suck. I am serious, you guys suck. There's a bunch of fucking explodable barrels here. Shit's sake, your fucking aim is crap. Get good. It's about time. There. Ow. Take the one with the halberd first. <laughs> Fucked up. I hate the shield bash. Stop it. Am I really not allowed to follow that up? Yeah. 
Eh. Not a big fan of playing the sorcerer. I don't like being fucking pew pew. <laughs> I feel so stupid that sounds. <laughs> I don't like being pew pew. Yeah. Ooh, crossbow. Now I'm even more pew pew. Ugh. Anyway, there's that. There's the mail breaker. Not that I really need it. Nor want it. Wouldn't mind any stock. Because that weapon is also good in this game, but it's not levels of OP that it is in Dark Souls 3. I'm holding the B button down to to fucking sprint game. Fucking recognize it. I'm just sat here running at normal pace going why am I not sprinting? Go. Yeah, a staff that I already have. I want to kill the one on the left. Don't whirl around, cheat hacks. This is where those headshots come in handy. High ground pretty much always guarantees a headshot. Whoa, you're alive! And you're blocking. Fucking stop it. Who said you could block? Yay! Now as for treasure, we really didn't find very much. All that message said was happiness. There you go. There's no contraption on that at all. There was no pressure plate, there was no nothing, so... Yeah, you see this? The physics kicks back in on enemies that are a certain distance away or out of sight. So, you run away, and you come back, and when an enemy loads in, if it loads in at all, it usually goes physics crazy. But oh well, uh... Yeah, you heard that. That was enemies falling. Okay, so. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh, but you should take this. It allows undead to call out for help to one another, across the fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. Yay! Well, be careful now. So, here we are. We have our white sign soapstone, and we can find the small one. Um, there is a small one. We'll find that in, in, well, it won't be long. Life gem, homeward bone. Fuck it, we'll spend our last charge there and we'll... Wait, why did that enemy at the back fall down there? Why is he aggroed on me? That is an enemy who's usually upstairs busy attacking a giant tree. Where did he go? No, what the fuck? You saw him, right? I'm not going crazy. I 
I hope I'm not going crazy, because I'm sure I saw that guy. There are items over here as well. So actually what I'll do is... Uh, I'll eat two of these. These aren't particularly easy to come across though, so I use them sparingly. Stab. It annoys me how I do a back step and get hit. Oh wow, enemy bounced. The yeah, enemies falling with physics enabled do interact with other enemies. So there we go, we got a soul and a halberd. There's an item here, I'm gonna grab it and run. More amber herbs. We used two and we got two back. I'm just going to ignore that enemy. I can't run. My fucking B button is fucking broken, I tell you. Like, I have to smash it in and then hold it. Woot! Fire arrows! Those would have been fucking awesome earlier. Anyway. Now we have two bosses to fight. One after the other. First thing I'm going to do... You My name is Malencha. You're a stranger to this land. Oh, we get to strangers these days. Everybody's going to run off. Drang Lake's been up high and up since the hall so long, long ago. We can do the normal parry now. It's much faster. But that's not all I wanted. Also going to that mansion. Next time I see Melentia, I'm buying a hand axe. There won't be a need to upgrade it though. There's a lot of stuff here. Shows that research has been done. Lots of it. Faris Lockstone. That would allow me to right now go and get the um, Chloranthi Ring. That gives you the increased stamina regen and that's what I am going to do. That's why I don't spend 4,000 souls early game on the friggin' Faris Lockstone because you find that one. And I hope I said souls and not gems. Because I can't remember. I think I'm going hollow. Uh, right. Here's that map. This is the island that, that Drang Lake sits on. And there's a few things. It's This is pretty much just the shape of Drang Lake with the mountains or whatnot. There's a lot missing from it. And here we have a skelly.
quite easy to avoid most skeletons' moves. They're not very, very susceptible to stabs and slashes, so... We can do that. Human effigy. Another Estus. It's a very pretty chest. Wow, that could be fucking pervy, couldn't it? <laughs> very pretty chest. Oh, soul vessels. These allow you to reset your um, your stats at the firekeepers. Also, this uh, these fragments. If we look closer. See what it looks like. It looks like there was a pedestal for it to sit on. And fragments, it looks like the Lord Vessel. Now, there are references to something stolen from uh, the Land of Giants. It's hinted that the Land of Giants might be Lordran. And, if you recall, Lordran has what is called the Tomb of Giants under it. Which is actually on a similar elevation as to where the Lord Vessel was being kept. So it's, uh... There's some interesting shit. Speed up. Run, 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 run. And... Five Homeward Bones. And this, this is the uh, Champion's Covenant. It basically makes the game hard mode. It, it prevents you from, like, summoning and whatnot. And I would do that, but it would actually ruin the playthrough just a little bit. Reason being is that I actually have to summon NPCs in order to continue with their stories and get their rewards. So... Yeah. I am doing this the... Uh, this way. Is that a shard you found? Whoops, do not want to level. I want to give you the shard. Thank you. 